<laughs> 22 is first. 22. 22. Let's do it. Awesome. 22 is first. I don't know who picked this one. I, it would make sense if it was Alliance. This certainly seems like a map that they are quite good at. I Actually, I think it was. Alliance banned 9. G1 banned 18. I think Alliance got first pick. They picked 22. I I mean, no surprise. They They... Are both very confident they're both in the top five in the world on this track right now and that could have changed by the way i don't know if that's necessarily the case i mean i'm surprised we haven't seen a world record or two set just randomly by one of the pros here today but um yeah this is this is going to be a good start i i would assume for alliance we'll see how gamers first plays it um but this map is very technical as we start round number one and if you're not you know, if you're not super proficient at all of the, the little intricacies, as I see that Gwen bonking right off that jump, and that's kind of what I'm saying. There's so many pitfalls here that you can lose so much time. I was seeing uh, oh. Mudda practice this on his private stream, or a private stream, what personal stream um, <laughs> earlier in this week. My lord, what a commanding lead from the Alliance players, definitely playing into Hunted's theory that uh, they're a little bit stronger. Now, of course, it's only a single map and it's only a single round on a single map, but uh, it's it, it's always a, a good sign, I think, mentally, if, if one team is able to kind of lock things down right off of the bat. It, it's not necessarily a sign that the G1 players can't come back. I, I You'd be a fool to assume that, but... Mm. I think it's just one more small mental thing that the Alliance players don't have to deal with and the G1 players do have to deal with. They need to now spend a little bit of mental energy picking themselves back up, telling themselves, hey, this didn't matter. Let's move on. Yes, it did result in an ace for Alliance, and, and they, they take a commanding lead right now after this first round of 22. But it's, yeah, it's just a little bit of extra workload. Oh, Solja failing the pipe, and now all of a sudden the points should favor gamers first in the early phase of this round. Uh, I mean, Mudda can, can throw a wrench into that, though. If he is able to take first, he will turn this into a draw. That is kind of the beauty of of the situation here though gamers first through the bug slide let's see how they fare oh mud is too far inside oh. and that's going to be gwen and binks to take a big lead here over top of mud and soldier and this assuming they can keep it together through this ice loop and it looks like they both have it should be a 3-3 all even score after two rounds which is not something i think you and i expected necessarily but they will Send this one to the finish. Gwen's a little slow here. Mud is catching. Yeah. He's fast, but is he fast enough? Oh, man. Oh, my oh, God. Man. It's so close. Oh, Mudda's got, got him. him. Oh. He got him. Okay. Unbelievable. Mudda <laughs> brings that back, and Alliance scrapes a point. So I don't know if our observer necessarily caught this, but I definitely did. Gwen, the reason that happened, Gwen ate a gear in that right-hand road section drift before that final kind of dirt sausage section, and that is what allowed Mudda to eventually catch up and get him. It's those tiny little things that can come back to bite you, and uh, Gwen is experiencing that firsthand here. Yeah, that's a bit of a bit of a, a sad French noise. <laughs> what does Gwen that sound there. like? I don't know. Don't ask me. <laughs> I really Should thought we... it was going to get you to do it, but <laughs> I guess not. We need so. a we need a we need a listen in with the players. That's what we need. That would be awesome if we could that pull that be... off. I mean, how much? How much? You know, really, how many? How much comms? Like, somebody messes up and it's just the other team laughing at them. I <laughs> I, I would imagine it'd be, it would be very calm, just like, oh, messed up. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, I got this. Just just like we need, we need quick like stuff. A, we need a real rager in Trackmania. Like, somebody who just is just flies off the handle, one mistake. That's what we need. Do we need that? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so, now we'll get that once the Americans start getting into it a little bit more. I'm okay, sure. gotcha. Was, is Trackmania not <laughs> exciting enough for you as it is? We just need people screaming and swearing. Yeah, we need in, the in player PCs. cam. Need the player cam. Somebody just smashing a controller. Come on, well, you know that would be exciting. 
while that nonsense was being discussed, <laughs> a, a, a nice tidy draw for both teams. So nothing changing in terms of the advantage other than Alliance getting technically one point closer to so, that 10 point total that they need. Gee, I want to ask you this question. I was, I've been thinking about it ever since we started this map. At what point do you start banning maps to mitigate your opponent instead of banning maps that you yourself aren't good at? I I don't necessarily know that that's a, a, a thing that happens over time. I think that's just simply a different strategy. I personally, I think I would use that strat right off the bat. I, I don't think I would be banning initially because it's a map I'm bad at. I think I would be banning based on maps that I know my opponents are good at right off the bat. I think that's simply just a, a decision to be made in terms of what strategy you, you want to follow. Soldier is following the strategy of keeping his car on the ground and oh it is gosh. going to work because he overtakes Binks through there winning his team another yet draw. another draw and preventing Gamers First from pulling two points into their pocket. It's just going to be one each. I don't know if necessarily you agree with that strat. That's yeah. I think if, if I was in this situation... I think right off the bat, that is how, or that is the rationale I would be using for banning. Well, I agree with you. Uh, I, I I agree to to a certain extent, um, because then what happens when you play a team like Solary, who I, we can now say that that uh, Pack is a part of? Well, uh, what do you do when? Uh, can you ban Carl Junior? <laughs> Carl Junior is not I, a map. <laughs> I don't think so. He's going to play no matter what. Yeah. So it's it's. And, and let's, I mean, Pac, too. I, I mean, Pac is one of those kind of community members who isn't extremely visible, I guess. You know, like, it's not like, you know, we see him streaming that very often and, and whatever. And he likes to keep to himself. But my goodness, is he fast. That that Solary team is disgusting. And we're yeah. going to see them in a round. But, I, I mean, what do you do in that situation? You just ban whatever you don't want to play and just hope. I think so. At, at that point, you can't really... I, like, I don't want to discount the the, the skill of, of other players as uh, as Solja and Mudda just cruise to an ace here, bringing them a single point away from taking this. I, I, I do think at that point, you kind of need to n not worry about disadvantaging your opponents, and you need to focus on just what you can do. So focus on the maps that you're best at, and uh, and and put put your destiny in your own hands, I guess. Right. Fair enough, man. Yeah, I I think if I'm if I am uh, coming up against Alliance in the playoffs tomorrow, I think I think 22 or 23 is, is a ban right off the top. They seem very comfortable on these maps, as we see now, just a point away. We'll see if they can pull this one out as gamers first. Had that early ace, but since then, only able to find a draw. Actually, they didn't have an ace. They should have had an ace. But unfortunately, Mutta able to catch up into that second place spot. And now, yeah, the wheel's falling off. Only a point needed. GG, I think, for this map at the very least. And again, kind of like what I said. Yeah, I mean, Alliance, they took round two off. You know, kind of snoozed through that round. But since then... If it wasn't a draw, it was in their favor. And again, they, you know, two two players with with two of the top five times in the world on this map. We'll see what Mudda comes through. A 55-7. Oh, 55-7. I was going to say that's really fast. 59-2. <laughs> a 59-2 for Mudda. And that's that's a tenth faster, or a tenth slower, rather, than, uh, than Solch's PB. That's how fast Mudda was there. So... Really good round, really good map for Alliance. They will take map one, and Gamers First is going to play catch-up. Uh, question for you. I'm going to put you on yeah. the spot for a second. Uh, we'll how much of this How much of this domination do you think comes down to uh, raw talent, and how much of it do you think comes down to uh, sweating and, and, and just kind of raw preparation? Like grinding it out? Yeah. I, I think... Now, I can't speak for all of the players. I don't know all of them personally. I don't know their tendencies. And that's something that I personally, I love learning about. Like I love that side of the game and something I want to grow into a little bit more. But 
you know, I feel like Mutta is probably one of the hardest working pros as far as when it comes to practice and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And it's not surprising. To see, I mean, he, like I said, I mean, he's the defending world champion, not world champion, sorry. He's the defending DMGL champion. And I mean, he, he loves to grind this stuff out. At least I, th- I assume he does. He, he does it all the time. So, you know, I think a lot of preparation comes down to that. And to be fair, this is the show showdown, right? I mean, this is show match stuff. We are on map number eight, and things are going to move quite quickly from here. So I will finish the point. I think once we get to the world tour, I think everybody's going to grind that hard because this is where they're going to make their living. And that is an ace to start for Alliance 3-0 on map eight. The way to start, I, I sound like a broken record, but it's it's because it's true. It, if you can get three points in your back pocket right off the bat, that gives you a little bit of a cushion to work with. It, it's not an excuse to be lazy or underperform, but it, it's, it's giving you a little bit of slack to where if you do, it's not gonna be the end of the world. Super tight drifts here. About, we're already halfway through the track. Mudda, Binks, and Gwen very close. Mudda tapping the inside wall. And that is a perfect example of how close you need to cut things here in this track to make a difference because it is so short. Ace right back on the other side (laughs) of G1, and it's 3-3. This is what we should have saw last track. Yeah. (laughs) This time, Gwen doesn't get caught in the final section, and it will be a 3-3 map moving forward. One thing I was thinking about, too, this is going to be a brand new world to these players. The, the post-game tweets, shouting out their opponents and, and thanking their teammates. None of them have experience doing that. Need social media managers, man. That's, I guess. You know what I'm saying, right? Like, I, after yeah. the game, like, oh, I love my teammates, GG's to everybody we played. Yeah. Come on. That's a, that's a new thing now. They're going to have to do it. Wow, Glenn was fast there. 27-1 <sighs> on 8. You know what's not a new thing is is draws that throughout this entire day that we we catch yet another or yet again. I'm hoping to see more, not necessarily from like a competitive standpoint, but just from you know being a, a neutral observer. I want to see this one go the distance. Um, I, I I thought that you know the first game uh, of or I'm sorry, technically the second game of today deserved it. That one was uh, was ended in game seven. Man, I I, I want to get to it. If I get to a single overtime today, I will be super happy. Let's see if it happens in this match. Very, very close margins, but Alliance will pull out enough of a gap Whoa. to give themselves an ace here. They're on seven points now and within reach of track point as long as they can pull off, uh, yeah, one more ace. You know, I think... I think Gwen, you know, Gwen pulling up the rear here, I think he's he's got to be the difference maker on this map. He, he's the fastest of the PBs uh, in this lobby right now. And he ran a 27-1, a, a really low 27-1. That's faster than Binks' PB Yeah, on this track. So I all eyes got to be on Gwen. He's got to get out in front. And he is going to be doing battle with Mudda here. Actually, all three players... Uh, Mudda and, or sorry, Binks and Gwen, oh but Gwen God. too far inside again. And now Soldier's going to challenge for first. He's going to overtake his teammates. What? <laughs> How did he snipe that from Mudda? I'm not sure, but either way, it doesn't matter. It's GG for Alliance. They take map number two, and they're up 2 nothing in the series. Wow. Okay. They're they're rinsing through this relatively quickly, um, faster than I imagined. But yet again, this is another thing where... It's kind of playing into into your prediction a little bit better, where it, you know, assuming that that alliance was was going to have the uh, the 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 advantage here. So that narrative is working out. So I, <laughs> so far, I'll I'll applaud you. I guess that's just proof that you know more about this this gaming community than I do. But uh, we'll get there eventually. Oh, whatever. Good lucky guess. We're we're gonna head into the track number three. It is twenty three. I'm, yeah, 22 and 23 had to be Alliance picks, right? Have to be. I think so, yeah. yeah. And again, G1 Band 18, which, again, not a bad band. <laughs> I think Alliance is really good on 18 as well, and they might not feel super comfortable on that map. But it's it's like this point. I, I think this team, you know, you can – all eyes, I think, are going to be on Solary. You know, you have two of – 
history's best Trackmania players on one team now in, in Carl Jr. and Pac. But, you know, outside of some dark horses, and, and again, I, I, you know, I think Mime is going to show what he can do this season in, in a big way. You have to you have to put respect on Alliance. I mean, uh, Soldier seems like a great fit for Mutta uh, as, a, as a teammate. They, they seem very complimentary in their styles. And when one of them's fast, it seems like both of them are fast. You know what I mean? Yeah, 100%. And and they I I saw yet again just just watching Mudda's personal stream, they were they were practicing uh together um while Mudda was kind of interacting with chat, kind of welcoming Soldier into Mudda's environment. Great ace there by the Alliance duo showing that all of this practice does pay off. It it, it you can have the raw talent, but you need to be, to be constantly sharpening those tools to make sure that when they are called upon, they are they are ready to use. So, uh, yeah, just uh, the the alliance duo is is working beautifully right now, and I think we may be seeing early signs of a a team that is going to go very very far once the season begins in January. But let's also to anybody listening before we get like clipped on Reddit and it's spread were memed on at the end of the season when Alliance is like last place for whatever yeah. reason. Grain of salt, these are campaign tracks. True. Some pros play the campaign day one and don't touch them again. You know, it, it happens. And with the World Tour tracks are very hard. Are, are, I mean, and not to say that these players can't do them, but it's not, you know, it's not like it's just going through the motions like it is, I'm assuming, for Mudda and Soldier right now. Just making sure that you don't crash. I mean, the the, the World Tour tracks this season are tough. And uh, it's going to take a, a lot as, again, they lead the pack here. Looking for back-to-back -back aces to open up map number three. As they had some pretty close rounds against Big here. But it looks like Gamers First really just not able to find their line through that ice loop. And they will unfortunately be down 6-0 to start uh, map number three. Uh, perfect sweep. Incoming, oh, maybe. I hope is not. that too early after no, two aces not, not, in a row? Come on, I, not for gamers first, man. They've no, just I, celebrated their first couple victories. I agree, and and as an American supporting an American org, I agree <laughs> as well. I agree as well. That would be that would be what's the word? That would be treason for for me yeah. to wish wish anything negative upon gamers first, but. I don't know. I'm calling them like I see them so far, and and Alliance have looked really, oh, really good. Early touch on that outside wall from Gwen is going to make G1's job even more difficult. Binks, however, doing a really, really good job to keep pace with the two Alliance players diving down off of that plastic wall ride. Soldier's wide, though. Potentially, yeah, Soldier was a little bit wide and will pay the price. Binks, excellent line, very, very low. Mutta, look at that. Super tight. Gets up off that wall. Is this going to screw anybody up? No, everybody seems to be well prepared. Nice low lines through the bobsleigh section from everybody. Soldier with really, really good pace. Oh, wow. Does he have enough to pass Binks? In fact, Mutta will definitely take the win here. Cutting it super Get tight inside. Doesn't quite have enough to beat Get Binks, but still taking two points out. out of this one. Get it out, Leechy. Fork <laughs> and knife. Time to eat your words, buddy. Yeah. Gamers first. Pull a point. Fine. This is why and I need is. to stop sports betting. <laughs> yeah, like, well, exactly. oh my way God, too early. Please. please. I don't want to even think about that. Some of the bad beats recently. Oh. 8 1 for Alliance. Yeah, I mean, if I'm, if I'm a betting man on Track Mania, I just don't. Like I said at the top of this, this, uh, top of this match, I, I just don't see how you bet against a team like Alliance. And not to say that Gamers First is not a very skilled roster. And and I, 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 I see them as a, as a contending team, you know, towards the top of the pack and, and, and potentially even qualifying for Worlds. Um, I just think there's a lot of pace that needs to be made up. And, and right now, Gwen, <clears throat> leading the pack, trying to keep gamers first in this. They need a draw or better to stay alive, but really they need a couple of one-two finishes to be right back in it. Looks like Soldier and Mudda going to run away with this I, and it's again it's it's obvious why they picked 22 and 23 they look so comfortable on these tracks they're difficult tracks but these guys are so skilled so good
they will come together across the line hand in hand yet again like true teammates and it will be map number three to alliance 11 to one final score gamers first do avoid the perfect sweep but they will okay. have to uh they will have to reverse sweep in this series to go three and zero on the day exactly yeah it's uh alliance fine they 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 take this one beautifully um at uh, as as we head into the final match uh this is gonna be 12. okay we see sausage tech um yet again so super happy to see it um i'm i'm very excited to see uh as as we stay with these guys for 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 one more map i'm very excited to see if any of these guys are able to take that final corner approach that big had to to carry that momentum across and and all the way through that uh all the all the way through that that final kind of uh uphill section um because that that was able to win big a lot of points back in their favor and let's see if maybe alliance uses it uses that to their advantage um for uh you know to to close the series out or maybe gamers first uses it to um to hopefully claw a, a single map back in their favor i'm so glad you were talking during the, the start of this map i was looking at my other monitor uh looking at other stats and stuff and i totally thought we were starting and it was warm up and i would have casted the warm up but here we are this actually <laughs> round number I saved, one i i you saved, I saved you without even knowing it look at <laughs> you that you did i appreciate that all right now alliance looking to put this series to bed oh this is going to be really close gwen oh it snipes first what a run from gwen wow really fast able to beat soldier and a good round out of uh, out of Mutta there. Certainly give props to Gwen. Clutch factor there to pull the draw. 1-1. One, one. That's how we wanted this series to go. 41-1. Yeah, really good times. God. Look at this. The, this. the drop down to the left, you get the acceleration, and then these two wiggle tricks at the beginning. If you drove straight you would it, yeah technically it's a it's a quicker line oh. oh gwen with that tap on the inside technically it's a more direct line through that that path of the track but you lose contact with the ground and and any seasoned track mania player will know you try and reduce airtime usually whenever possible because if you're in the air you are not accelerating and so Except for keep the an <laughs> eye if if you're a if if you're a new track mania player keep an eye on how frequently these players try that wiggle trick to keep the the wheels planted on the ground nice round win from alliance gwen that early mistake unfortunately takes gamers first out of contention for anything other than a round loss but at the very least they still pull a single point out of it yeah, and, and it was uh it was really great driving out of soldier uh, in that final section, keeping the gear all the way through the uphill and uh, just keeping the car on the track really well done from him. He held, holds off the charge from Binks in that round. And so far, the most competitive map we've seen up to this point. It is the last stand for gamers first. As they will need this one and then the next three, if possible, as Binks Gonna fall behind a little bit here. Mutta really speedy through this section. A drift though, not quite what he wants. Bix is gonna play spoiler here, Ooh. but he taps the outside wall. He was really pushing it. It doesn't have enough. Oh, he's gonna stay second. So he holds off Soldier just barely to keep his team uh, in the points there. Well done from Bix. But you could see he was really pushing that, that outside corner and he just clipped it. Couldn't quite catch up to Mud at that time. Holding my breath there as well, because if he was able to make that work, man, that would have been a close run for, for P1. But it is what it is. Such is life in, in the world of Trackmania. Sometimes you, you send it a little bit too hard and uh, you, <laughs> you you get bitten for it. So Alliance 5-3 three, uh, up versus G1 here on map number 12, the fourth map in... Uh, in this series right now g1 in a oh well they were in a pretty good position and then who was that i think oh no actually binks in p1 soldier and mudda fighting 
well. Mudda in a rare P4 all the way in the back. Binks and Soldier fighting very, very close. And he oh, taps Soulja on the taps. outside wall. No, Soldier taps the inside wall. Mudda not enough speed to steal it away from Gwen. So gamers first, a much needed ace and will actually give them a very slim lead over Alliance. Yeah, you don't see too many players hit the inside wall on that on that corner. It l really looked like Soldier was trying to <clears throat> to compensate a little bit. He didn't have the greatest uh, drift around that that uh, the the tr previous turn and tried to compensate a little bit too much. Tried to go a bit too far inside. And Sausage Tech claims another soul. I get it because it's Soldier. That's good. I I'm choosing not to react. So. <laughs> Do you want to know the, the really hilarious part about that? Is I didn't even mean to do that. I just realized that it was a pun after I You're just said, that good. You're just that I good. Promise That's you, I promise you I did not mean to do that. Look at but this anyway. potential ace yeah, I here know, from yeah, G1. Oh, soldier! Oh, trying to break it up. Don't tap that nope. wall. He doesn't, but unfortunately, but I think him. may have released just a little wow. bit. Gamers first climbing to nine points here. Alliance not getting a single one. What a good round! Run. A quarter second covering the entire, the entire group of four players. Forty-one zero from Binks. What a round indeed! And now gamers first. All they need is a draw, and they will get their first map of the series. Yeah, Binks. That's literally thousands away from his PB. Great run from him there, and I would honestly give the edge to Alliance on this track. But right now, gamers first in Mudda. He's gonna hit that wall. That's it. Unless there's two mistakes from gamers first, that will do it. But a, a mistake, a rare mistake from him. And Alliance will have to concede a map for the first time today. They could not complete the perfect day sweep. French going to give them a run for a mon their money this time. They will pull off Whoa. the first track. Things goes wide. Even if he taps there, he's got enough time on Mudda. It doesn't matter. Gamers That's first. True. I just Able to, to be excited about match. something, okay? Yeah, well, <laughs> learn, learn to cast. <laughs> wow. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. No, I deserve it. I deserve it. It's fine. It's fine. I'll go cry in the corner. Uh, <laughs> gamers first, congratulations on your first victory in this series. Got to do it three more times, though, and I think we're headed to, what, 20 next? Of course, another black map where Alliance has been dominant so far. Uh, red map, in fact, uh, oh, black support road, but definitely red map. Uh, my favorite map yet again. In case you missed the the earlier part of this broadcast, this is definitely my my favorite map of the pool, and and I think my my favorite map in in the entirety of the the campaign <laughs> for this season. It just has a very unique flow. I love the zoop trick about halfway through, um, through the penalty sand. Um, it's just a, a ton of fun and through here even in the warm-up where the players need to take it as tight as possible to the wall on a couple of occasions it just the the risk versus reward here I think that's why I love this map so much is that there are a lot of areas where you can risk but the reward in my opinion is worth it so it, it's why you see a lot of players going for strats like that I'm, I'm totally here for it I'm glad you mentioned the warm-up for me. I appreciate that. I saved you just, again. Just to make sure that I was on the same page, yeah. Oh, Soldier, oh my god, what this the heck He happened? got so much airtime. Somebody slammed into yeah, a Binks. pole, so that kind of assisted Soldier's uh, surge towards the lead here. Gwen here oh, about Mutta? two tens back. Mudda trying to steal it away from him. Trying to make oh, this, this an so ace. Close. This could be close. This is, this so is close. pretty much oh, a fight for a second. And will be made a lot easier now that Ben scr or Gwen scrapes the outside of that wall. Early ace for Alliance. That's three points in the bag. Has, has it been every map has started with an ace? Oh, did your last map? I'm going to rely on your memory because did I last have map? no idea. Map one did. Map two did. Map th three, I can't remember. Or three did. I can't remember last map. I don't think so. I think we were. I think we've been. We've been scuttled by map four. <laughs> but you know what? I'll take four or five. Ah, oh, Binks too wide on that one. He's not going to succumb to the pole. Instead, it's the wall touch that'll get him this time. And it is going to be Gwen. Oh, that's good speed, but better speed 
from Mudda just a little bit, and Gwen's a little bit wobbly through that section, but he's still going to keep a lot of speed. Mudda taking a bit of an inside line. This penalty stand's going to be huge. Mudda's got to keep his lead. If he can muster it, that's a really great line from Mudda. As long as he stays off the wall, he does. Just barely as Lichi as signifies. But it keeps the tires off the wall, takes first. That's a two-point swing for Alliance. Oh, my God. Just, like, every muscle in your body just, like, clench it. That was pixels away from that from that wall and of you know how cool of a character mudda is he's probably just he's probably just that happened and he's like oh that was close <laughs> like that's it like just completely brushes it off like i'd like nothing. to think he says bedge after every round they win bedge and just, just, <laughs> just put that soldiers round just soldiers just muted him at this point tired of it <laughs> he's like we get it dude you're not on stream you don't need to push yeah. your own brand at this point know, dear lord so Sorry, man, I don't speak English. <laughs> oh, Auto when again, with... he's so wobbly through that section. He has so much speed. Wow. I don't know how he's done that, and he's going to get by Mudda again. Or Well, for, well, this time he'll get by, but only for the moment. Mudda, a little bit better exit speed. He's going to tap the brakes, and it works for him as Gwen taps the wall instead. And Mudda will lead Binks and Soldier through the final section there and it is another two points for alliance match point for alliance to go three and oh man that wall tap on the outside for gwen was so painful because it could have led to potentially a draw uh but then it it, it hands it hands the round win to alliance to alliance alliance and uh <laughs> then we find ourselves yes on match point alliance do need an ace to make it work but if one team can make it happen it will be them but their job will be made a little bit more difficult soldier tapped but binks made a significantly larger error i think slamming into the wall during that super tight jump there off of the dirt so now it's purely between mudda and gwen we know gwen has the speed through this high speed drift section but i think honestly the penalty sand is going to make it so difficult for him to catch up he's almost a half second in the rears of mudda mudda should be able to coast to this one and will p1 for mudda as long as soldier keeps it calm which he will that'll be two points in the bag for alliance and now they are sitting pretty gamers first on three they need nothing but aces to stay involved with this one yep so a nine three score line yeah, I mean, you can win it. They, and the real the unfortunate thing is two aces don't win this for Gamers First. They win two aces and then to win the round. I mean, I'm assuming, you know, a draw would send us to overtime, but that's in the back of their minds right now. All they care yeah. about is going one, two in the next two rounds. This round, first off, and a much better start for Binks and Gwen. No early mistakes but mud has been so fast through this section however gwen a lot of speed through the zoop there and both frenchmen are going to screen down this section they quite a large lead soldier is four tenths back it looks like gamers first are going to stay alive here assuming they can live through this wall they've hit it a couple of times they'll stay off it this time and it will be one two gamers first gwen just sniping binks by five thousands there at the end and it is still a match here, nine to six now in favor of Alliance. It is amazing what esports can do to your body. I, I feel <laughs> my heart rate coming down after it rising with how close both Gwen and Binks got to that outer wall on that final dirt turn. That's one ace that they needed. It is now nine to six for gamers first. They're an ace away from tying it up. Easy. Just just do it again, right? <laughs> well, they've started well. Makes a Glenn out to a one-two lead. Soldier. He takes an inside line, gets a huge burst of speed, and he will push himself into second. Gwen falling all the way back down to fourth. Binks is going to do what he can to maintain this lead, but it's all eyes on Gwen right now. He's got to make the charge through this penalty sand. Soldier and Mutta hanging on to second and third. Gwen just too far behind, need two mistakes, won't get either one. GG Alliance go 3-0 and through the day. They go, what is it, 12-1 and on maps? 
and they are I through. Think so they are through to the playoff round out of Group A, first in their group. What a run! So Alliance first seed, Gamers first, second seed. Very, very well done.